thing you're going to do is go to your send scan controller make sure you're in EQ mode and you're just going to want to press enter through all of these settings begin alignment I'm going to say no and then I'm going to go to utility function and I'm going to go to PC direct mode, this is very important. So it says PC direct mode, press escape to exit. We're gonna keep it like this. And now we can open up ASCOM driver. Um, so hang on, let's look at that. Okay, so I'll show you how to write down the COM port for your USB to RS-232 adapter that you need to plug in your mount through the hand controller into your laptop. But first, let me show you where you're going to type that information in. You download and install EQMod. You run the EQMod toolbox. You're going to register. I can't do that now because I already have, but it's really, really easy. Just hit register, and then you're going to go to driver setup. Now, mine is COM3. So I would select COM3 here. Yours is almost definitely going to be different. You want to make sure these settings are here. 1000 for timeout, retry 2, baud 9600. Lat and long go here in your elevation. I'm doing ST4 guiding. Um, and then you just hit OK. And then you do ask COM connects. I'm not going to do that right now though. I'm going to show you real quick how you get the COM port number. Okay, so you have installed the plate solving software. You need the All Sky Plate Solver and the Plate Solver 2 and place these programs in a location that's um, readily accessible. I like to have them on my desktop or in my on my C drive, my boot drive. So then what you're going to do is open up uh, your control panel and go to devices and printers and at this stage you should have plugged in your mount your telescope mount through a USB to RS-232 adapter which you can get from shoestring astronomy and you're going to right click on this this is the USB to RS-232 and you're going to make note of this, COM3. It might be different on yours. In fact, it very well may be different on yours. Also, very important, take note of the exact physical USB port on your laptop that you've plugged your mount into. Use that every single time. It might seem cumbersome or tedious, but I promise you, uh, after your second night, It'll be like second nature to you. Write that down. I'm going to exit out of there and go over to APT. I'm going to do what we need to do in order to have a planetarium. So I'm going to go to Tools, APT Settings, Planetarium. I'm using Stellarium, and so you, if you are as well, you'll click that box and make sure it looks like this. Now, when I tried this from the beginning, the port was 8091, and it wouldn't work. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, that I am using COM3 from a USB port, and I had to change the last digit to a 3. I don't, I don't know if there's something there or not, but try this at first and see what happens. Okay. Then you're going to go into gear. Point craft settings, and you're going to download plates. Well, once you've already done this, you're going to simply uh, write down, you're going to specify the path to Plate Solve 2 and All Sky Plate Solver, ASPS. On my system, this is where they're located. And if you do that and your COM port is correct, the last thing you have to do is to install. 
EQAscom. So your your Ascom driver, I'll show you where that's at. So on my system, again, it's in my C drive. And I'm actually going to use something called Stellarium Scope. Okay. So once you click that, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We'll get that set up. That's the driver for your um, your platform. Okay, so now we have Stellarium Scope. You have to install this first as well. Just Google it. It's pretty straightforward. And so we're going to start this up. We're going to hit Connect. I like to use J now. It's more accurate than J2000. So right now, so this is your driver, EQ Mod. And what you're going to want to do is press this button here and it pops up all these options. You're going to put your latitude and longitude in these boxes. There's a nice app you can get on your phone called Where Am I At? And you type in the numbers that it shows you on there for your latitude and longitude and your elevation. Then you hit, excuse me, you hit set. And so once this is saved, you can push this back. And when you're ready to start taking pictures and aligning and all that, you could make sure you hit unpark. I'm going to actually click that now because I always forget. So um, I'm going to minimize that and this. You don't want to close the EQ mod, but you can close the Stellarium. So here's Astrophotography Tool. This is something I highly, highly recommend. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to, so it should say Disconnect Scope here. What that means is it's currently connected. Your mount is currently connected to the computer and is controllable through APT. What you're going to want to do next is go into tools and set the focal length of your telescope. Right now I'm using a ED80, so it's a F6. So you put its focal length in there. Choose your camera. I'm using the Canon T3i. And let's see, what else could I show you? Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to want to have this button. It says track, so it's going to automatically be tracking as as you're doing your stuff. Okay, so here's the first thing you gotta do. I'm not gonna do all of it because I've already done it and it might mess things up, but you'll hit register and go through the prompts and then driver setup. And remember I told you to write down the port number. This is where you're gonna select your port number. I'm COM3, remember I showed you that? You just click that here. I would recommend you have these settings, timeout 1000, retry 2, baud 9600. Um, here's where you can choose what sort of guiding you're doing. I'm doing ST4, pretty popular version, and your lat and long, and uh, you just hit OK. Once you've done that, you could then start up Stellarium scope. You want to first set the EQ Ascom toolbox settings. If you have any questions on registering, please let me know and I'll show you uh, in a follow up video. It's pretty straightforward though. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, so one thing I need to remind you of is to not start up Stellarium from your desktop. You're going to want to start it inside the Stellarium Scope driver. Right here it says Start Stellarium and you just hit that. Okay. So when this thing fires up, there you go. So this is my sky right now. The sun is setting but it's not dark yet. And voila! Look at this. Because we've correctly set up the ASCOM driver through EQ Mod, 
we have correctly looked up the COM port through which the mount is connected to my laptop and everything else I've shown you or have yet to show you. I don't, I don't know what else I have in mind for you tonight, but suffice it to say that this is a good sign. Uh, although I'm only using my uh, refractor tonight, I've named my mount Orion Reflector because that's what I started out using exclusively. And you can see where it's pointing. I have it in the home position, as it's called, um, roughly pointed towards the Polaris region. I'm going to have to do a polar alignment later once it's all the way dark, and then I'll be on my way. Um, I'll give you a quick demo of what happens when you want to, or like how you slew to something using this environment in Stellarium. Okay, so what you want to do, let's just for demonstration purposes only, let's go to, um, let's go to M81, M82. So now that that's selected, there's where I'm pointing right now. It says Orion Reflector. That's where I want to go. Here's my physical setup. Here's the, the refractor and the mount and all the cables and whatnot. So I come over here to my keyboard and you're going to want to hit Control and then 1. When you do that, you'll see it's moving and you'll see that it's, the mount is physically moving as well. And there you go pretty handy. So all you got to do now is uh, I would take a picture and then plate solve it and then true it up and hit a line as you've seen me do in my other videos and you're ready to rock and roll. It's really handy and I love it. I would recommend this setup to everybody.